What is up guys and welcome back to the channel, so today I'm going to be going over what I think a reverse Flash spin-off show could have looked like. Now guys, first things foremost, I think this spin-off show would have been about a reverse Flash origin. Obviously we were teased uh, about multiple things that happened in the reverse Flash origin story on the Flash, but we never actually saw them happen, so I think that would be what this show would be, is you know just seeing how the reverse Flash you know bec becomes who he is essentially. Um, and I think this could be just like a quick 10 episode show or something, they wouldn't have to do like a season 2 or 3 or anything. Now, obviously, if a Reverse Flash show were to happen, I think Thawne would obviously be played by Matt Letcher, unless they're doing, like, a scene with a, a super young Thawne, like, maybe when he starts idolizing the Flash, like, in his teens or something like that. Uh, but nonetheless, to start off the show, obviously, this would be happening uh, in the future. Uh, so, probably, I think Thawne was born in 2151, if you do the math. Um, so, I think, you know, maybe this could start off with, like, 2186 or, you know, something like that. Uh, but anyways, nonetheless, to start off the show, Thawne would begin to idolize the Flash because, you know, he he said on the show multiple times and in the comics that he used to idolize the Flash and wanted to be the Flash. Um, so yeah, Thon would begin working at the Flash Museum to continue his fascination with the Flash. Obviously, that also happens in the comics. Um, and to follow Thon's dream of giving himself speed, he would end up succeeding in doing that. Obviously, he's a scientist from the future, so they have that technology. So Thon would eventually give himself speed. Um, and initially here, he would be tapping into the normal speed force by doing this, and his intent would obviously uh, be becoming a hero just like his idol. Um, Thawne would even wear a red suit at, at first just like him and he would, I guess you could call him the future Flash. I know Savitar kind of called him that. Uh, more, more like the Flash of the future. I think they actually do mention that somewhere in the comics. Um, so that would have been pretty cool to see on a potential reverse Flash spinoff. But then we'd find out quickly that Thawne is not going to be a hero like the Flash. He would eventually create his own crimes and stop them himself and just get the praise for it. Obviously, that did happen in the comics. Uh, and I think that would have been uh, really great to see on a potential reverse Flash spinoff. Uh, and that also, uh, I can, you know, we can make that connect with what Thawne said about his origin in the Flash Season 8 right here. Um, so at one point, Barry Allen, in this case and on this potential show, uh, it would have been original timeline Flash. Um, and he would, you know, come to the future for whatever reason and he would save a crowd from one of Thawne's crimes that Thawne was meant to save himself and that started his hatred for the Flash. Now obviously that doesn't sound like a lot to start hatred. Uh, Barry even said that in like season 8. He's like He's, he just called us Thon a sociopath for uh, for getting so angry at you know Barry uh, ruining his life that way and you know somehow that ruined Thon's life. I guess they could go more in depth on that if uh, there were there were any plans of a reverse Flash spinoff. Um, so I think that could have uh, been interesting to see right there. Um, so I think the show would have also done a great job of showing Thon going from idolizing the Flash to you know wanting to kill the Flash. That would have been a pretty cool season long storyline. And by the way, guys, there is like zero chance of the show like this happening. Just so, just so you're aware, this is all just for fun. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, so you know, after Thawne begins to get his hatred for the Flash, he would then create the negative Speed Force. And by the way, the Flash season eight storyline where they say that Thawne only tapped into the negative Speed Force is just stupid. In season six, Thawne literally says that he built the negative Speed Force himself. Um, so I think they would they would just ignore the entire season eight storyline with that and just focus on Thawne building his own negative Speed Force. Uh, but then one day at the Flash Museum, Thawne would notice something new put in the Hall of Villains. It would be a yellow suit with the name Reverse Flash above it. This is how Thawne learns that his destiny is to be the Flash's nemesis. I think that would be really cool. I think they do talk about him like realizing that some somewhere in the Flash. Um, I know at one point he talks about time travel being the, the realization that he's supposed to be the Flash's arch nemesis. Um, I guess that's kind of time travel. I mean, with the Reverse Flash suit just magically appearing in, in the future, it would nonetheless Unless it would be a change in the timeline, so I guess you could call that time travel. Uh, but anyways, Thon overall, you know, Thon would figure out that he's supposed to be the Flash's nemesis. Uh, so I think what would happen after this is that you know him and Barry uh, would you know just have fights across time, you know, in Thon's time, in Barry's time, just random times until we get to the day of April twenty fifth, two thousand twenty four, where Thon shows up with Shadow Demons in Barry's time, and Barry shows up with his Legion of Heroes, who might have been called the Justice League already in this timeline. Obviously, this would be the original timeline. Um, and the two sides would, you know, then fight under red skies, of course, creating the original Flash Missing Vanishes in Crisis article of 2024. Now, obviously, Thon still doesn't know Barry's identity yet. So what I think should have happened or what could have happened um, is sometime during this fight, Thon figures out the Flash's name is Barry Allen. And in that moment, Thon doesn't waste any time. He knows what to do. He's going to travel back in time to kill Barry as a child. But Barry knows what he's planning, so he follows him back. By the way, guys, I, would, I think I already 
said this, but I would have all of this take place in the original timeline. Uh, so how the how Barry's mother's murder played out in season nine won't be the same as it is here. Um, but yeah, Thawne and Barry would time travel uh, to the year 2000. They would break into and fight in Barry's house. And eventually Barry would get his younger self out of there, which, you know, obviously would anchor Thawne. But then Thawne thinks that if he were to kill Barry's mother, Barry would never grow up to be the Flash. So he would do, um, you know, he obviously killed Barry's mother. Um, and then he would finally be free to travel to a future without the Flash. But then he'd realize his speed is gone from that fight and that entire exchange. Um, so original timeline Flash would be erased from existence due to, you know, in the future, they're not supposedly being a Flash just because of, you know, Barry's mother's death. Um, however, Thawne would be stuck in the year 2000, so he'd, you know, take over Harrison Wells' body, um, and, you know, he would need to create the Flash in order to get back home. Um, so, yeah, I think the the show, the, a potential reverse Flash spinoff would have ended um, with Thawne, you know, on that street, realizing he's stuck in the year 2000, and then obviously we know after that, the events of season one would play out. So yeah, guys, I think that's what a potential reverse Flash origin could have looked like. Like I said, there's zero chance of this happening um, unless they do it like, you know, a few years into the into the future with like a different actor or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I think this would have been really cool to see. Um, I think, you know, other spinoffs that could have happened would be like a Barton Norris spinoff. I know there was a little talk about that. Um, you know, something along those lines, I think would have been really cool to sort of continue the Arrowverse. But yeah, the Arrowverse is over. There's not going to not going to be any Flash spinoffs, sadly. Uh, but yeah, I think this would have been probably my favorite one if they could have done a spinoff. But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on what I think a Reverse Flash spinoff uh, could have looked like. What do you guys think a Reverse Flash uh, spinoff could have looked like? Make sure you comment that down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.